Hello friends, back to problem analysis. It's me Jesse. If you are interested in problem solving and if you know the basic geometry, properties of tangent circles and the solutions of a quadratic equation, then here is an interesting problem. Consider a square. A semicircle is drawn with the diameter is one side of the square. Now a circle is constructed that touches the semicircle and two sides of the square. Suppose the radius of the semicircle is given as 2 units. Then my problem is, what is the radius of the circle? If you want to attempt the problem, pause the video and just give a try. And the solution is right here. First, let's analyze what are given in the problem. First of all, the diameter of the semicircle is one side of the square. Secondly, the circle touches the semicircle and two sides of the square. And finally, the radius of the semicircle is two units. Now remember what is our aim of this problem. It is nothing but to find the radius of the circle. This is the structure of our problem, so always keep in mind. Now observe the diagram. Suppose the radius of the circle is r units. And it is given that the radius of the semicircle is 2 units. Therefore, diameter of the semicircle will be equal to 4 units. And hence, the side length of the square will be 4 units. Now, before going to the further explanation, we need to note an important property of tangent circles. So, consider two tangent circles, they are touching each other at some point externally. Then, the centers of the circles and their touching point are collinear, that is, lying on the same line. Now, if the circles are touching internally, that is, one inside the other, still the result is true. That is, senders and the touching point are collinear. Now come back to the figure. We know that the circle and the semicircle in our diagram are touching each other. Therefore, by the property of tangent circles we mentioned, their senders and the touching point are collinear. And in this line, this part is a radius of the circle and so equal to r. And the remaining part is a radius of the semicircle which is equal to 2 units. Now, draw this perpendicular line to form a right triangle here. Clearly, its hypotenuse is equal to 2 plus r. Now, its height is equal to radius of the semicircle, that is 2, minus this side, which is again equal to the radius of the circle, r. Then, height is equal to 2 minus r. And now, the top edge of the triangle is equal to side length of the square, that is 4, minus this length, which is equal to the radius of the circle, that is r. Then, the top edge is equal to 4 minus r. Now, we can apply the Pythagoras theorem to get r plus 2 whole square is equal to 4 minus r whole square plus 2 minus r whole square. The left hand side expands to r square plus 4r plus 4 and the right hand side expands to 16 minus 8r plus r square plus 4 minus 4r plus r square that is equal to 20 minus 12r plus 2r square and finally it simplifies to r square minus 16r plus 16 is equal to 0 a quadratic equation in r. By solving this equation, we will get the value of r. For a general quadratic equation of the form ax square plus bx plus c equal to 0, the general solution is given by the quadratic formula, which is x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b square minus 4ac whole divided by 2a. And here, our equation is r square minus 16r plus 16 equal to 0. So, comparing with the general form, we will get a equal to 1, b equal to minus 16, and c equal to 16. 
Now substitute these values in the quadratic formula and simplify. To get r is equal to 16 plus or minus square root of 192 whole divided by 2. That gives r is equal to 8 plus or minus 4 root 3. The two possible values for r. But we know that r is the radius of the circle and so it should be positive. Out of the two values, the value 8 plus 4 root 3 is anyway positive. Now note that 4 into root 3 is approximately equal to 6.928, which is clearly less than 8. And so 8 minus 4 root 3 is also positive. So we need to find which one of these is the suitable value of r. But how to find that? To understand that, come back to the diagram. And suppose r is equal to 8 plus 4 root 3. Now remember that r is the radius of the circle and the circle is lying completely inside the boundary of the square. Therefore, radius of the circle should be less than the side length of the square. That is, r should be less than 4. But 8 plus 4 root 3 is clearly greater than 4. So this value is not acceptable. And so the only possibility is r is equal to 8 minus 4 root 3. So in the diagram of our problem, the radius of the circle is equal to 8 minus 4 root 3. That is equal to 4 into 2 minus root 3 units. This value is approximately equal to 1.0718 units. And that is the solution we are looking for. And that's all about this video. My Gmail ID and Instagram ID are given in the description. So if you have any queries regarding the subject, please feel free to contact. And thank you so much for watching. Meet you in the next video with another interesting problem.